sometimes clients will come in and say, we had a good week. What are ways, Catherine, can you get traction when the room feels sort of meh? I like your um, additional animation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the way I get traction is um, I kind of take advantage of the room feeling meh. I, I take advantage of it feeling um, more settled between them. I want to make sure one or both partners isn't holding back because they don't want to upset the apple cart. I also then want to say, hey, but this is just a good time to talk about when you were caught in your pattern, when you were caught in the negative dance, you know, a month ago, last week, whenever ago. Mm -hmm. When you look back on it now, you remember feeling what? And so sometimes when things are settling down between partners and there's nothing, I actually don't want my clients to bring in, like have a list of things we're going to talk about in therapy because it's often so content driven. So I know their pattern is hovering, whether they haven't seen each other much or it's been a few weeks since they've, it's become active, which is lovely. I know it's not far away mm -hmm. until we get through stage two. And so I just say in this lovely, um, subtle place that you two are in, I'm really happy for you. I, I'm hearing from you. It feels really good. When you think about getting caught in your old steps, I remember a month ago, we talked about you being a pursuer and you being a withdrawer. When you think about and when you feel back to those kind of moments, help me know what comes alive on the inside for each of you. You just go right back into where you want to work because you want to see where you can get intrapsychic traction as primary as possible. And so they don't need to even bring in anything to try to find where you can get primary traction. And then you're right where you want to be in terms of seeing if they're de-escalated and this settledness, this calmness is a sign of de-escalation seeing if you can go into stage two, seeing if you can continue with one of the stage two change events. In my emotionally focused therapy, the word emotion is all caps and bolded and underlined. Mm. Like, because you can, there's so much you can always do with it and you never go wrong when you're working with someone's intrapsychic experience. It is where they are. It certainly happens to me, oh, oh, we're good. And I say, great, on the inside, as you sit here, right here, right now, you're feeling what? Good is code for... I feel open, I feel settled, good is code for in my heart. There's more connection between us. There's maybe even some relief. Well, help me know what's happening in your hearts as you're sitting here feeling good. I just love, just rewinding just a little bit here. You said, um, here we are in this lovely settled place. And when you think about the cycle and the steps, what comes alive in each of you, what emotion comes alive. And it's just such an interesting move because when they're in a settled place and maybe they haven't been in a settled place, like you just want to say, let's call it good, you know? And in a way you're sort of saying, yes, let's reflect the settled place. And that's actually a great place to start working. That's a, that's a nice platform. It's a nice platform because there is an active escalation. Yeah, yeah. And so you can, it's actually the signals, you know, we're talking about it with more subtleness and less escalation, less reactivity. We can, you know, it's just a little bit different of a conversation. And then from that different conversation, you can evoke probably other emotions that haven't had a chance to come out when there's been escalation. <laughs>